Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another nostalgic review with the domain. Today we're having a look at the Arctic Rocket Hog vs Covenant Ghost. A real real doozy of a set. I, I, I love this one. I actually, I really love this one. Um, I've been campaigning a little bit recently to bring back Arctic sets. I think they're so dope, man. They're particularly good in dioramas and with photography in the snow. I just love them. They're, they're such a nice little collection. I like sets that all work together. That's why Mega is so great with the new lineup of sets. You know, all of the metallic greens working in harmony, all of the banished reds. It's, it's a great thing. And you can see, looking at this color, Cover art. Whoa, they really knew what they were doing. They had the normal UNSC sets coming into the Arctic battle that was already taking place with the short sword, Rocket Wolverine, and Rocket Warthog. And the Wolverine will be the set we review next on this channel. I also have the display box for this, which is quite funny. In one of my recent videos, I kind of got scammed where I bought this box and it was empty. Oh, that's brutal. This is like, it's it's garbage. It's, it's, it's garbage, garbage, garbage man. man. What? What? <sighs> Man, that it's garbage. It's it's it, it's garbage. <laughs> no, no figure in that. There's no figure. All right, guys, this is what's inside our mega box. It's <laughs> nothing. There's nothing in this box. Oh my gosh. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's 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 garbage. I've been absolutely duped. I've been, I've been bamboozled. Luckily for me, I got another haul that came with an Arctic rocket hog. So I was able to salvage the uh, the review, but yeah, it was a really funny video. And on this, you can see the uh, sort of 2010 lineup. We're moving into 2010 now. That's when the Arctic sets were established, but we still have some of the old 2010 sets on the packaging. And this is an improvement on both the Warthog and the Ghost. The original Ghost we got was shockingly bad. <laughs> like it, it wasn't very good. So this was a big improvement and uh, there were a lot of improvements with this set. The inclusion of the Arctic Spartans, I mean in, in terms of figures there's nothing really going on here. Like we've had this elite so many times at this point. Probably the most common figure next to the green Spartan and the two Arctic Spartans obviously they're dope but they are just recolors of the original green one and we got a red one in the Scorpion. But the weapons, we got the Magnum for the first time. My first Magnum was with one of the original drop pods and I remember getting that Magnum and I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So really dope that you got two of these in this set. And turns out it's quite a common thing to include two of the same weapon. We got two assault rifles with our Spartans in the Gauss Hog versus Locust and we got two SMGs in our original Warthog. And now in the original Arctic Warthog, we've got two Magnums. And the Arctic Warthog was re-released in recent years. It was really dope, but you gotta love the old nostalgic feel to this one. We'll talk about the ghost first. We got some nice uh, sticker decals that work really well. These have not peeled over time, and whoever applied these did a really great job. <laughs> nice one. And the control panel here. Uh, that one's not as well applied, but still okay. And this ghost, and you know, Elite can actually hold it, which is saying something, because some of the very old releases, they can't... Oh, actually, am I speaking too soon? Maybe he can't. Oh, oh he can just about. He can just about get hold of those. It would be better if they were on some kind of swivel joint because these are not meant to ride upwards. It would be nicer if they did. And of course the ghost has been improved upon again and again and again and the new ghost of Requiem looks insane. But this Mega definitely uh, wanted to improve upon their smoothed out pieces. The original one was so bobbly but this one has really nice smooth edges, curves that all just uh, run around, make it feel really aerodynamic. And they've got these new exhaust pieces, some stickers on the sides and one transparent brick there. I really like this ghost and I don't think it was improved greatly for quite a while. It was re-released in a couple of sets. This is a great ghost. I think the Ghost of Requiem is clearly the best ghost we've ever got, but I wasn't that impressed by some of the banished ghosts recently. And also these turrets, they're the same as were on the Locust, but now there's an additional stud to make um, them a little more 3D. And again, it would be nice if there were some blue gems so it could be firing. The Warthog, when we compare it to the original, there's been a couple of changes, but only very minor ones and really just ones that 
give it a bit more character, a bit more personality. These lights with these reflective strips are excellent on the top, really nice there, and better sticker decals on its hood as well. We've also got this little gem here that sort of, uh, I don't really know what that is, but it, yeah, it gives a better feel to it. It just makes it feel more fleshed out. We've got more stickers on the back there, stickers on the sides, stickers everywhere, like this is a very heavy sticker set. They've not improved the way the Spartans sit in the Warthog at all, so we're still gonna have the problem of them like not really being able to hold on to the uh, steering wheel very well. And these figures, uh, Arctic figures in particular, did have a bit of a yellowing effect to them as the years went on. The Gauss Hog, it's the normal turret. There's nothing changed other than this single Gauss piece, but at least it inserts in by a little stud and uh, holds together very nicely. Later on, they would replace that little uh, insert rod and it would just sort of clip on by a basic stud and it would always fall off. So this was the better design by far. You clip that in, it's nice and movable. There's nothing much else to say other than it's a really nice warthog. And also, I haven't really mentioned this enough in my previous nostalgic reviews. Mega has a really good injection mold style to them. These camouflage bricks, they were patenting them from the very beginning and they just, they've held up over time. It means that every brick is different they all have weird little bleeding effects to them, smudging, like makes it look like it's dirty, battle damaged, whatever you like. It's a really solid way to uh, to elevate your set, elevate your pieces. So all in all, guys, pretty decent. We got two Magnums, an Energy Sword, two Spartans, an Elite, a Ghost, and a Warthog. Particularly the reflective strips on the front of these headlights uh, work really nicely for me. Let me know in the comments down below, did you get this at the time, or are you just feeling that nostalgia now? You want to go dig that up from your collection. Let me know how you feel about this set in the comments down below. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Thank you to my Patreons for helping lead this channel forward, and the Warthog is signing off.